<clears throat> Hello, everyone. This is Om. Uh, we will be speaking more on the level of uh, the application management using the Kubernetes operator pattern. So let's have some small intro. I'm small. Uh, I'm software engineer in R and D at JFrog India office, and I'm certified Kubernetes administrator. Also, core contributor and member of CNCF incubating project Litmus Kiosk. <coughs> And feel free to ping me about the uh, after this call for the chess. I'm international rated chess player as well. So, uh, when, after like uh, when I don't uh, contribute in open source, I work for the JFrog. So feel free to scan this QR and grab your uh, swags like like microphone and all. Will. <clears throat> So my first question is like, uh, how do you deploy and manage your applications? Uh, we, so there, there are <clears throat> multiple ways we use that. So let's take some current scenarios and let's take how to uh, level up the current scenario installation deployment of the, our application and management as well to some automation way, to some better way. Like, so let's say, so. Uh, while we install our application, we use different ways. Like some, some use like uh, there are many tools also, bit of tools. And while we locally, we have some. Uh, we used YAML files and other ways like Helm. Uh, so we install it, right? But we don't know how it, after the installation is it working. Just coming up the container in the ready state and healthy. It don't mean that the application is perfectly fine or like it will not go down. Or if even if it goes down, how it will be. Uh, come up and how the application is behaving. So if let's take example in the production side, our application suddenly goes down, everyone is facing issue. So is it worth like if in production, if the application goes down, because there are our uh, many customers, they will face issue. It's a loss of money as well. So we don't, we can't like bear that downfall uh, application down in the production. So how to make that uh, how to make uh, some automation so that even if the application goes down, so that it will come up and again it will take it into the running state and it is in uh, live 25 by 7. So let's uh, deep dive into some of the uh, some of the automation ways. Like there are a couple of things like uh, using, uh, <clears throat> we will be mostly discussing about the Kubernetes operator or uh, using the operator. We will see that how the applications. Uh, installation part and how it, uh, it how it is better than other uh, installation way and how it is helping us actually the management of the application. So as so there are a couple of ways we deploy like one is YAML file, one is customized Helm and operator. YAML file is simply YAML file where we just apply and that's all. No need of configuration or any <clears throat> uh, customization required. So in customize we have manifest we just patch that, update that, and we install. So later on, we suppose someone wants now some configuration on the, on the top of that. Uh, so we used Helm. But nowadays, like if we want some uh, automation on top of that, suppose it's not just to make the install and that's it. There is some be some automation way. Some there, there is some something to to operating that even some goes down. Some misbehavior happen in the application. So to operate that, uh, we have operators now. Let's talk some more operators today if you see that writing operators sounds very hard but thanks to there are many libraries uh, there are many frameworks which are available for the operator thing like operator sdk cube builder and all using that we can abstract the most of things and we can use the high level apis only for our uh, implementation <clears throat> uh, Operator is basically uh, help us to package, deploy, and manage a Kubernetes uh, application. Operator also helps like to extending the functionality of our Kubernetes API, where we can like install and manage, which with the core point of our today discussion is. So, uh, in today's date, why operator is needed? Uh, because we need like a uh, good flexibility, improve consistency. We can uh, automate our uh, installation in an easy way. And <clears throat> suppose let's take example. Uh, we have some way to install, like suppose some YAML file or through some YAML. We have installed that. 
and new versions comes up where some breaking change of the db is there schema change and we upgrade there their upgrade will fail because since in and we are just uh, installing a new versions with the new configuration but in db it will break right so there is must be some way to configure to migrate that to for the upgrade cases it some required configuration it will work so in that cases operator comes in the role where it's having their own uh, golang logic or some ansible we can have that and it's fixing the prerequisites for the upgrade thing and we are upgrading that so in the same way like it's more uh, we have the more control uh, over more we are more hands on our application installation and management of that that's the basic use of the operator now say same question let's take application breaks right we have installed using uh, yaml files or and with breaks right what 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 will happen it's completely down right so we need so here operator comes like it's cut. something goes down some pod goes in crash or something happen for their own it's reconciled and we have a logic for now to take it up in uh, in the today's demo we have selected the operator sdk uh, it, it is a cncf incubating project uh, it has so many capabilities and so many functionalities in built functionalities which we can use for our uh, writing of the logic uh there is one good question around this is like operator we have some customers on aws we have customers some eks gk eks on different different kubernetes clusters so will it be supporting yeah wherever the kubernetes can run it can run there. it it supports all distributions and uh, as a local machine someone using the minikube and some other cluster and yes it will work there <clears throat> here in operator there are uh, we can write there are a couple of ways like multiple ways operator supports like uh, we'll take in our uh, next slide that like helm uh, ansible and golang so here uh, we will mainly discussing about the golang thing so operator has a couple of very good like uh, features like they also provides the matrix also and operator is basically it's uh, more on like writing operator is basically combination of all stuff like controller uh, manifest and it's bunch of things in operator we can get that so in uh, internally uh, we have the uh, cr uh, crd uh, cr is custom resource crd is the custom resource definition where we write our own custom resource now like just like take example the stateful set for deployment there are also custom resources so in some way we can we will have our own custom resource uh, we can give any name for that like kind and we can just do the cube cdl suppose kind name we have while building given some <clears throat> uh kcd taiwan then we can get cube city get kcd taiwan so it's it will we will have basically our own uh, resource and what is the controller controller is basically the suppose what's the responsibility of uh, stateful set replica set for they have some their own roles where what they perform same like for our uh, resource we will have our own controller which which is having some responsibility which they performs like and uh for the timing any question like feel free to ask uh how the operator works basically internally controller so when we uh do some changes right some once we apply our uh, cr it installs our application and it uh, performs whatever the responsibility their controller have they creates resources and manage that so basically once we apply our resource uh it's get updated in etcd once it uh, any event get occur it reconciles it reconciles uh, happens in a different ways like one can possible if the error returns in controller one is when um, custom resource uh, apply some update happen or it's there is a default timing also 10 hour after that also reconciles happens so <clears throat> so the, this thing like what recently we talked like helm ansible go there are three ways we can have the operator thing ansible is basically for the basic installation and just for like upgrade cases it works perfectly fine but something if you want to have some configurations on the top of that then we have to go for the ansible or go uh, and for example like the full life application deep insights and autopilot mode if it it will keep on running it some downfall occurs it will take that and it's keep our applications uh, resilient like it's keep our applications live and perfectly working this is the reconcile logic uh, 
where we have to fill our logic in this function reconcile. This uh, we also provide some kube builder uh, R back groups and these things in our uh, Go file where this gets reflected in the, our uh, R backs, and it, it can be get generated by make my Mac manifest con uh, command. <clears throat> this uh, small demo we will have. So uh, I have pushed uh, an operator code here in KTS operator repo, uh, which is a CNCF project uh, ported to head, which is just uh, built for the understanding of the microservices. I just used that and wrote a uh, operator on the top of that. Uh, let's install the CRD. I believe I already have it. Let's try. My whole screen is visible. Uh, the command line. Share again. Let's install the CRD. It has been configured and let's install that or uh, up, uh, operator deployment and RBAX for that and operator namespace. We can do now. is running let's wait for some more time to make it healthy uh, now let's apply the CR this is our CR now so like other resources some or our stateful set deployment we have the kind of stateful set and we have some specs and many configurations what say stateful set support so in operator we can have our own objects and we can have any uh, specs what our objects require we can write that and simply we can install this like let me open this in another tab also it is running so let's apply the cr now once we apply our cr what are the responsibility we have given to controller to install the potato head now and it has installed right correctly and we can see the events like in the consign things. That's created. Uh, if we delete that, suppose now we wanted to update something, right? We have to just uh, update this manifest uh, here. We, we can update this uh, version and we can apply. Now the new versions, new points will come up. Let's take an example for upgrading case. Now currently, it's a 0 0.1.1. I'm just updating it to 0 0.1.0 all places. Right. And applying new manifest now. It has configured and we can see here now oh, older version was uh, 0 0.1.1 i think i did and okay it is running now uh, new version is 0 0.1.0 so application is updated now with our newer version so it is seamless upgrade and it keeps on running internally our uh, controller which keeps on uh, having watch against our resource in the etc database if anything gets changed it reconciles and it updates the new configuration. Also, if something goes down, it's, it's responsibility to take that up with some good configuration. Uh, again, like you make scan this thing. And thank you so much. That I'm really sorry for the getting some confusion and, and the timing. And 
that's why I got some delay. I got very less time, so I just covered very fastly. We can we could have talked deeply. Uh, feel free to contact me on like Twitter, LinkedIn, GitHub, and do do two. Thank you. Sorry, we we are overrun, so <laughs> we need to uh, move on the the next mm -hmm. session. And thanks, thanks you are sharing. Uh, uh, I'm so. looking forward next year to speak in person meetup. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I thanks. apologize. I really apologize for some confusion happened. Uh, okay. okay, no problem. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for your participation. See you. Thank you.